This is the receiver TX8011 by Onkyo. And the problem with this one is that it's in a standby right now. If you hit the power button, the relay clicks, but nothing is happening to it. There's no sound and the display is not lit. Now, if I connect this little contraption, the kilowatt meter, it tells me that the power consumption is only 1.8 watts right now. And that means that only the standby transformer is engaged. The main power transformer is disconnected, even though the power is on. And if I turn off the power, let me try to do it this way. Okay, now it's on standby and the power goes down to 1.2 watts, which means that the relay is disengaged. But the main transformer, according to the display, is not engaged at all. So it could be three things. Could be bad relay, bad contacts in the relay, could be the main fuse or could be the thermal fuse gone bad. If the main fuse failed, there could be some other reason for that. So we have to investigate. Right now I'm going to open it up and see which part has failed. This is the receiver with the cover removed and I can see a lot of dust, all dust in it. So I'm going to take it to a compressor and blow it off. However, I can see in the power section the relay, the power relay, then the fuse next to it, low standby transformer and this is the main transformer. So I'm going to check this area uh, after I clean it up a little bit. I'm going to begin by checking the winding of the transformer, the primary winding, just right here, these two points. And that winding is just fine. Uh, now I'm going to check the fuse, the main fuse, and that should be zero or close to it. And this fuse is bad. It's not working. So I'm going to replace it with the same value and then see if it blows or stays okay. On the board it says 4 amps, so I will replace it with the same size with 4 amps fuse. The fuse on the right hand side is the blown one in the glass tube. In the porcelain, white porcelain tube is a new fuse, however I couldn't find 4 amps, so I'm going to put 3.15 and hope that uh, all it was just a fluke, a uh, failure of the fuse and not something serious, but we'll find out. I'm going to test it with this fuse, 3.15 amps. Uh, I didn't have the proper size, uh, but smaller is safe. So that's not a problem. If it blows up, then I'll look for problems with the receiver. So I'm going to fire it up. And oh, it works. We see. So, success. I'm going to put it back together. And then as soon as I get hold of 4M fuses, I'm going to replace it. Replace it to a larger size. Okay, but for the time being, this should function just fine with the 3.15 amp fuse in place. I just want to say that usually there is a reason for a fuse to blow up. However, not always. Once in a while, it's just a fluke. Uh, the fuse had a surge at some moment when you hit the power button and it just quit. And one more thing I want to show is the kilowatt meter. It, right now it takes 24 and a half watts. So we remember it was 1.3 and then with the relay on it was uh, 1.7 watts. Now it's 24.4 and this is when the receiver is in on position. When I turn it off, the meter goes back to 1.2, 1.3. Okay, well, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and I hope this will help someone. The main point of this video was how to test it. If you have this kind of contraption, the best way to test whether uh, the main transformer is not receiving power is just use that and turn it on and off and then we'll see if there is a 
surge in power, then you look for problems somewhere else. However, if the power is very low, indicating that only the standby transformer is receiving power, then you look for the basics. You look for the fuse, for the relay, or for the thermal fuse inside uh, the transformer uh, between the windings. And this one has actually uh, points for the thermal fuse outside, so uh, they are easily accessible.